I've hooked something high on Android.com where we get <laughs> on Android every day. Anyway, Sanogen Mod CM 12.1 was released a couple days ago. Now I've been actually testing a bunch of my devices like the Note 4, Note 3, S4, and it actually works really well. I find that the Sinogen team actually skipped the stable milestone releases for CM12, which means CM12.1 is probably the next stable candidate. Now for all of the CM12.1 versions I've tested for unofficial and official, I found that the CM12.1 was way more stable than CM12. This is because CM12.1 is an incremental upgrade from CM12 instead of CM11 to CM12 was a complete overhaul from KitKat to Lollipop. So CM12.1, I really consider it sort of a beta milestone release. Anyway, if you have a phone that supports it, definitely try it out. I highly recommend it. I've been running this for the last couple days. Actually, I've been flashing on 20 different phones I have and I almost OD'd on Android. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a closer look. I want to show you all of these features with CM12.1. Also, if you're coming from KitKat, you may not know about some of the Lollipop features. Let's go ahead and do a comprehensive review of CM12.1. Let's go do this, baby. <sighs> All right guys, so I've got it running on my Note 4, S5, S4, Note 3, Note 2. I've tested them all pretty good and a couple other devices and they actually run really well. Now the CM12.1 ships with the latest Android 5.1.1, uh, which is great because a lot of the bugs from 5.1 or 5.0.2 uh, have been fixed and most of them have been fixed and this is an incremental upgrade to 5.1.1. So I find that the, even with the night lease, it's actually really, really good. Um, so I do highly recommend trying this out if you're into AOSP ROMs. Of course, you'll lose all of your Samsung features if you're using a Samsung phone, but it's okay. Let me go ahead and show you how to optimize this phone. One of the biggest features uh, with CM 12.1, you'll find in settings. If you have a phone with hardware buttons like the Note 4 I've got here, uh, you'll find an extra menu called buttons in settings here. Now, previously you could enable the nav bar and you know you could also use your hardware keys now that kind of beat the purpose of it because now you could hit the hardware keys and then accidentally press these off buttons now the home button still works but the menu and the back button have been disabled for the note 4 i'm not sure with the other versions they might all get disabled but this is a feature from taken from the oneplus one which i really like now with the software buttons you'll also be able to use navigation ring targets uh, these are the buttons that come up from the bottom here you can go ahead and set up to three of your favorite uh, apps shortcuts and let me go ahead and set this to calculator for now go ahead and hit that button now anywhere here you can go ahead and go straight into your calculator uh, so it is a great way to sort of make use of the soft buttons better and i really like that and also if you go to power menu here you can go ahead and enable screenshots um, take a screenshot there and of course with all cm roms you can go ahead and hold down the volume down and the home button together to do a screenshot so don't forget that a lot of people come from other type of phones and then they don't know how to do the screenshot and go crazy max you know how do you do this i'm like keep trying different buttons it's usually volume down in the power or the other buttons in the power all right next let's go ahead and go into themes themes is pretty big and themes has been introduced with cm12 i'm sort of the newer theme engine and i really like it let me go ahead and show you three of my favorite themes let me go ahead and start with the purple uh, if you like purple kush purple stuff um, you're gonna love the purple lollipop theme here. Uh, this will make everything purple with uh, black and gray and white icons, uh, which will save you battery life. Ah, oh no. There we go. Uh, it took a little bit there. Um, it will give you a nice little purple theme there. And if you don't like this one, let me go ahead and show you a couple other ones here. Also, you can try the infamous theme. This I really like. This will also save you a ton of battery life. Oh, you know, because USPS, not USPS, <laughs> ultra power saving mode on the uh, uh, the Note series and the, Sam the latest Samsung series, they save a ton of battery life because you are using black and white. Now with black and white, you'll save a ton of battery life. Uh, this one is like completely black and white, so it will save you some battery life there. And my favorite theme all time is the Resurrection Remix Second Pitch Black. This is by the Resurrection Remix founder. Uh, West Crip. This one also changes your font. Uh, also, when you change your font, it will change the font on your uh, keyboard, which is very nice. So it's like getting a completely new keyboard. This one I really like. Check it out. So you got the nice black and white 
icons, save you some battery life. I'll also change your keyboard font, which is very nice. I really like this font. This is actually the one used on stock HTC One. So you can have all of that. And also your settings UI becomes a uh, black background with uh, some red icons and white. I really like it. It makes it really easy to see. So with themes, you can get a ton of more themes. Just go ahead and do a search for CM12 themes in Play Store and you'll be able to download a bunch of the free ones. Those are all the free ones I got. And maybe like last year or two years ago, there was actually not that many CM themes uh, with the older CM theme engine, but now there is a ton. So highly recommend it to play around with the theme section. All right, if you go into language and input, there is also menu for high touch sensitivity, uh, which is great when you're wearing gloves and stuff. I'm not sure if this is uh, supported with all devices, but it is definitely supported on the Samsung devices that I've tried. So definitely check it out. If it is supported on other devices, that means now you'll be able to use uh, the high touch sensitivity Samsung feature on any Android phone. So that is one new feature I really like. All right, if you go into status bar, you'll be able to customize your status bar a little bit. Uh, clock style, I really like it in the center and PM style. All right, brightness control. Um, this is great. You can go ahead and control the brightness uh, by doing that. Now talking about brightness, if you go into display and lights, um, there is new stuff like adaptive brightness. This will optimize your brightness, uh, but I find it eh, not that useful. I just turn it off. Also live display, this will change your color temperature of your LCD or your display. Uh, also, I don't find that too, eh, too useful. So I, I, would, I probably wouldn't use it that much. Also rotation, you can go ahead and enable 180 degree rotation. So you, you'll be able to rotate any way you want. If you want to use your phone backwards, maybe you're hanging from the top of a tree or something. So that's very nice. Other than that, expanded desktop is useful. Uh, I usually have this on for Chrome. You can go ahead and hide the status bar or the navigation bar or both, which I chose here. What this will allow you to do, nope, it's not rotating there. Uh, you will be able to Get rid of the status bar and the navigation bar when using the apps that you want to get rid of those. So that's very nice to make full use of your screen. All right, for notification light, you can go to notification light here. If you add custom values here, you can go ahead and add your favorite apps. For example, uh, if you get notification from Facebook, um, you can set to your custom color such as blue, I guess. So that's very nice. You'll be able to customize all of your notification lights. Also battery light, you can even customize the battery light there. Uh, also, I forgot to note with the buttons, you can also customize the buttons and add an extra menu button, which I highly recommend you to do. So I added an extra button there. This is great when you actually need to press that menu button and you know, some apps have it over here, some apps have it over here. Uh, this is very useful. For example, Google Maps, I'm driving and uh, sometimes I have to hit, I want to hit that traffic. I bet a lot of you guys do this and I have to do this to hit traffic. Now with the menu button there, you can go ahead and hit the menu button and hit traffic uh, one handed operation. So I really feel like the menu button uh, is very useful. You can easily access it, especially if your app has a menu button up on the top somewhere uh, where you can't reach it with one hand. So that's a very nice feature, don't forget that. All right, with Lollipop in general, just in case you don't know, you can actually pin stuff. Uh, you can go ahead and pin any apps you want. What this will do is allow you to lock your phone to stay in a certain app. For example, your kids want to play some games, but you don't want them to accidentally delete some of your important emails. Maybe they hit the wrong buttons. You can go ahead and pin that app. So go ahead and turn that on. Also, you can lock the device. For example, uh, you get pulled over and your insurance information is on your phone. Maybe you're a serial killer or something. You have a bunch of stuff that you don't want the cop to see. Then you can go ahead and enable lock this, set a password. So he'll only be able to stay on that page where he can only see your insurance card. Um, so let me go ahead and demonstrate this really quick. Let's say you're in your gallery app and you have your driver's license here, for example. Go hit the recents button, swipe up, and go ahead and pin that application. What this will do is allow the cop to only access your gallery that you can't get out. No matter what you press here, um, no matter what you do, you're always going to be in this app, even if you unlock it. Also, I find this good. There are certain situations where you may want to lock your app. Now to get out, go ahead and hold down the back and the recent buttons. And that will unpin it. Oops, there we go. And now you'll be able to do a regular 
browsing. All right, for notifications, you can also manage which apps you wanna receive notifications for, which apps have priority. Uh, for example, let me go ahead and use Facebook here. Um, you can go ahead and block the notifications if you want. Also, you can hide the notifications from the lock screen if you want. And also you can have it uh, the highest priority if you want by turning that on. So you can do that for all apps, very nice feature. Also, if you want additional control, there is the privacy guard, which was introduced with Lollipop. Um, you can go ahead and manage which apps have access to your data. Uh, this, let's say, for example, I don't want Chrome to access my data. I can do that. And also I can even control every little detail. For example, I don't want Chrome to access uh, my my location. Then you can go ahead and ignore it. Um, you know, I don't want Chrome to use my camera ignored. All that stuff you can control with Privacy Guard. Also, you can go ahead and enable blacklist, which allows you to add any numbers. You can go ahead and incoming calls. Maybe uh, you owe a bunch of money to Geico and you don't want to pick up their calls. You can go ahead and enter their number, 1-800 number, and you won't get, you'll just block it out so you won't get those calls. Anyway, that was some of the newer feature with the latest CM 12.1 and also some of the newer features you should know how to use uh, with the latest CM 12, CM 12.1 in general. But I really like it. Performance is excellent uh, with CM 12.1. Uh, with N22, I think I got almost 51,000 last time. Uh, I don't, I think it should show, there we go. I got 50,000, which is a record for this phone I have here, this, uh, International SMN 910F. Anyway, check it out if you are interested in running Sinogen mod on your phone. Uh, CM 12.1 is way more stable than CM 12, even the night lease, because they pretty much fix all the bugs on 5.1 with all the new added features. But I'm really digging some of the features Sinogen mod has added lately. Uh, so you should definitely check it out. And thanks guys for watching this video. That was review of the CM 12.1. You can go ahead and grab the official versions at Sinogen mod site. For the unofficial versions, you can find it on XTA, and I'll have some links to different phones that I've used in the past uh, for unofficial versions that are good. Anyway, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. I have more stuff coming, and as always, I stay on Android.